Hello and welcome back to our Let's Play of Factorio. This would be episode 26. So let's uh, start the game again. I'm gonna try to not make this entire episode just like one very long rant. Uh, that's that's gonna be one of my goals. Um, maybe that'll work. Maybe not. I am kind of just waiting, running the clock a little bit, waiting for this rocket silo to finish building. Then I can officially declare the Let's Play to be over, and just come back to it when I feel like doing a Factorio Let's Play for some reason. Assuming, of course, that version 13 doesn't come out, and I don't start over completely with that one. Which I'll probably end up doing. Like I've mentioned many times before, I, I've got some mods that I want to add to the uh, list when it comes to Let's Plays of Factorio, specifically. I'm also just kind of... Wait, really? No, that takes five steps. Okay. Hey, we finished some more research. Um, I don't know. What should we research? Let's do better laser turrets. You know, I've never actually used these effect transmission beacons. So from what I understand, they're supposed to spread out the effects of uh, whatever modules you plug into them. And, you know, make it like a area of effect, I guess. But weakened. And that sounds intriguing, but at the same time I've never found a use for them. Partly because I've never really built uh, opened up factories. Like, as you can see, I, I tend to stick with the rat's nest of belts. What was it? I, I heard someone else call this uh, belt hell, I think. That's what they called it. Or, which was kind of entertaining. I think that's a very good way of uh, describing it, however. Um, yeah. So as a result, I've never really used those effect trans beacons because, like, I don't really have any room to put one down. Plus, like, I would want to put one down to cover my high-end production, which is pretty much, I mean, like, maybe logistic bots and engine parts... Uh, red circuits and purple circuits. Like, that. it's kind of a uh, all over the place. Well, I guess this little Silicon Valley area is kind of compact. But, not really. Also, I guess Blue Science def definitely falls under high-end production. And, of course, these guys. Which really need some cards. What kind of cards? I'm thinking maybe let's do some productivity modules. Hmm. I'm not sure if they would be particularly useful. Maybe just like some efficiency modules. Already got eight of those. I'll just stick efficiency. Oh, I've got eight efficiency module twos. Stick those in there. Um, I should have some speed modules somewhere. Yeah. I'm going to do speed modules for the, um, this guy, because this guy is being really slow. Um, and we've got effect transmission, so... Well, let's do, I don't know, next level of combat robotics for now. Didn't we start? Yeah, we started making combat robotics chain over there. Um, hey, I've got red cards now being fed to me. Let's try building one of those effect beacons. And then go back to speed cards after. Alright, now if we do... Hmm. 
See, there's no... So it's got a radius of what? Two and, is that two and a half blocks? So if I put it like here, will it affect all three factories? Let's see here. Number of factor receivers, three. So yeah, it does affect all three factories. Now what if I put these speed cards in there? Yeah, crafting speed goes up. Nice. Alright, that's kind of cool. Um, would be nice if I could make a uh, productivity module 3. Of course, I'm looking at that total raw, and it says it's going to take 2,100 seconds, which is a long time. That's That cannot be right, can it? Wow. I guess it could be right. So, I mean, that each productivity module 2 takes just over 5 minutes to make, and we're going to end up needing 5 of these, plus another minute. So... Wow. That's literally going to take 40 minutes to make a single productivity module 3 by hand. I guess that's true for all of these high-end modules, except for speed modules. Speed modules are cheaper to make in terms of time. Oop. There we go. Uh oh. This guy uses speed modules. There we go. Alright. Now I guess we've sped everything up a little bit. This guy got the biggest speed boost at um, plus 90% for a crafting speed of 2.375. And it looks like the bots are keeping it full. So the... Hmm. And it is still the limiting reagent for our rocket. Oh well. Not sure why that is. Alright. So, what if we try to spread some of these effect transmitters out? I might be able to fit one in here. Actually, you know, um, one thing I noticed was uh, when I play with the RSO mod, the every resource gets turned into these huge like piles, which can then be um, usually end up having a higher overall yield and stuff. Except for oil. Oil always seems to have um, fairly low yield percentage, which I guess isn't necessarily terrible because oil pretty regularly has a very high yield. Um, but at the same time, it is kind of obnoxious, so you do end up running to uh, the minimal oil production of 0 0.01 per pump per second yeah and then af after a while you're just kinda stuck waiting for um, or just exploring to discover more oil pumps until I guess you discover enough that it's kinda like a constant supply type thing where 0 0.01 oil is enough to supply your entire entire base for for forever um or just you know you have enough point oh one or point one oil productions that you know that adds up to whatever your base is using which there's apparently a way to check so I'm not sure what the button is this is electric network info maybe like P yeah production that's the P button, by the way, for those of you that are watching this at home and are just kind of confused how I made this screen pop up. But this shows me production of all my raw goods, or I guess all the resources per minute, and my consumption. So it lets me see if uh, my production needs to go up or down or left or right or... If by the way, if you can figure out a way to make production go left and right, tell me how, because I want to know. 
<laughs> um, I guess it does only cover the, what, 16 most used resources, but at the same time, like down here, I've got oil barrels that are being used at a rate of between 16 and 24 a minute. That's, that's pretty small compared to, like, my ore, which is being used at a rate of 1.1300 or 1400 per minute. Um, I guess my iron plates are significantly overproducing. That's a good thing. Oh well. Anyway, um, that's a cool screen. I did not know about it until very recently. Or well, I had seen people use it, but I had never. I think that's actually the very first time I have opened it on my own. You know, fun fact. I mean, just because I'm not ranting, you don't expect me to talk about just random stuff that is mostly unrelated to the game, do you? I'm also going to spread out some lights. Um, not really sure why, because this factory generally pretty well lit, I would say, but, you know. Um... Lights make people feel safer, and deter crime, and we don't want any crime in our factory now, do we? Alright, let's do Combat Robotics 3, and in the meantime, let's start making Combat Robots 2, over in this assembler. Yep, Distractor Capsule. Alright. That should work pretty well. What are we doing on explosive rockets? We have a lot of explosive rockets. Way more than we just grabbed. Let's, uh, let's have an auto resupply, actually. You know what else I was thinking? I can make a flamethrower. Why don't I? Um, need some light oil, need some heavy oil, and iron plates. Now I've never actually, once again, I've never actually made a flamethrower in Factorio. So that's just kind of like a why not moment for me. Um, of course it's going to require me to do some thinking in terms of what I'm going to do, where I'm going to get all of the light and heavy oil from. Um, kind of leaning towards here, like if I was to turn off a chemical plant or two. Um, no. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I am going to literally just build an extra refinery just for the purpose of producing light and heavy oil. Um, yeah. And... I need some stone bricks for that. Let's see here. Alright, refinery. Um, I don't expect the flamethrower to be, like, ridiculously amazing. Um, as a matter of fact, I kind of expect it to be pretty crappy, to be honest. Like, I'm not expecting miracles here. But on the other hand, like, I pretty much only use the combat shotgun and occasionally rockets. Very rarely. Usually I don't even use rockets. So what's the point of having a submachine gun? That I literally never use. Um, so why not try out a flamethrower, you know? Might be better for close range. Well, I would imagine it would be better for close range, just setting everything on fire. But, um, you get the point. So we put down a oil refinery, put down some lights and some power and some pipes and, um, lots of pipes. like so let's 
see here. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Now, how are we going to do this part? Alright, uh, we need a chemical plant. And we're going to need a requester chest, because thankfully I still have bots. Um, you can do advanced oil processing. Now let's hook up our hydrocarbons. And actually, let's hook up light oil um, to our network. And then let's put a chemical plant. I don't know which way it's gonna actually have to go. Let's let's just see. Um, to make flamethrower ammo. Okay, good. So it, it will work like so. Um, yeah, just load a bunch of uh, iron plates into it to begin with. We are just loaded up on petroleum gas, aren't we? Alright. Um, I'm just going to build a couple more storage tanks for now. So that'll uh, open up the amount of petroleum gas that's being stored. And therefore the amount of flamethrower ammo that I am able to collect. Also, I was gonna—I was saying requester chest and uh, provider chest. Let's see here, you logistic request of uh, iron plates. Iron plates, you provide. Um, maybe not all that much fuel. Grab some fast inserters to make everything work nice. Excellent. Wow. I guess that guy's only making one heavy oil per cycle. Might even be faster if I was to um, turn this guy off for now and hook up the heavy oil storage. Where's the pipes? Underground pipes. Where'd you go under? Wow, sometimes I'm just blind. Um, there we go. Alright, so we're going to end up full on heavy oil pretty soon. Oh well. Let's try out our flamethrower combo. Should actually make a flamethrower, shouldn't we? Didn't I already make one? I thought I already made one. Guess not. I uh, don't need bullets either. There we go. And it did auto equip. All right, let's try this out. That's really cool. Definitely didn't expect it to have that kind of range. Let's go try it out on some trees. Okay, so this is definitely one of those careful where you shoot weapons because my health has been, well, my shields, um, has gone down. Which, I mean, makes sense. It's a flamethrower. Like, fire doesn't discriminate. Fire just burns. Um, not thinking this will be particularly if... Oh, perfect timing, biters. Yeah, this is almost not even doing damage to biters so that's that's pretty much not helpful at all um, 
I'm kind of sad that the fire doesn't spread, though. I was expecting more of like a forest fire effect, actually. Yeah, I mean, even rockets, which are really loud. By the way, you can't really hear it because I still haven't... Well, I assume, I assume there are easy ways to uh, connect sound from the speakers to the microphone and have it record as the same time that I'm talking, and I'm sure I can do that with some uh, splitters and possibly some other fun stuff like that, but that's expensive, and I can't justify that. Uh, rocks also have fire resistance, so let's not try to set those on fire. But, let's try to set a biter base on fire, see if that does anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so actually, biter bases go down pretty fast to flamethrowers. Um, biters themselves, not so much. Jesus, this dude's still alive and biting. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I, I don't think flamethrowers are a viable weapon for attack or defense. I mean, I'm sure they work very well early game. Looks like the I just cooked all the little biters pretty quick, so that that's not an issue, but not great for a late game weapon. And I'm out of fuel. Let's go back to the shotgun, which is tried, true, and extremely painful for biters. And occasionally rocket launcher. Whee! Rocket launchers are also surprisingly good at destroying trees. Way better than flamethrowers, which I didn't exactly expect. You'd expect fire to be much more deadly towards trees, but oh well. Hmm. Well, we'll just run around with a flamethrower for now, anyway, because I'm kind of sick of the machine gun and I barely ever use it. So, uh... Logistic trash. Logistic trash. Actually, I'm not going to logistic trash those bullets. I'm going to stick them in here. Oh. There we go. Nope, that didn't work. There we go. Alright. I see the problem. We are waiting on you. Hmm. Um, just gonna have a chest over here for now, which is going to collect our combat robotics capsules. And then I'll just manually stick them all in there. That'll keep, keep things moving, you know, give us a little build-up of, uh, useful combat spheres that we can work with in the future. Also, let's stick some more lights everywhere. Because why not? Illumination is the key to discovery. That's why inventors are said to be illuminating? I don't actually think anyone's ever called an inventor illuminating, but, you know, I'm sure they have at some point. Look at that, a rocket's up at 20%. You know what else we haven't done in a while? We have not driven a tank. 
which is low on solid fuel. Um, actually, on second thought, we could try to set up a couple more radar bases. I'm kind of intrigued by this. Is this like a giant continuous lake? Because it is over here. I mean, I'm faster than the tank, so no point driving that around. And I think that radar base got taken out again. Yep. That one's just way too close to that biter base, and I'm not going to be able to take out that biter base without combat robotics. Which will hopefully be discovered soon. What are we missing? We're missing blue science. We just have no blue science left whatsoever. Wow. Also, this light doesn't have power. So let's move it to there. Alright. Um... Could try to put some level 2 speed cards in our blue science maker. It's going to take a little while. What? 30 seconds apiece? Oh, that's not too bad. It's only two minutes of hand crafting. Plus I don't... Well, I guess I do have a secondary speed card manufacturer here. There we go. Wow, I've got all sorts of efficiency module 2s. Efficiency module 3s are pretty cheap on their own. Let's let's make a couple of those. Almost kind of tempted to try to make um, productivity modules, see if those... I'm not sure how those bonuses work. I haven't actually, haven't used those either, but do I... If I've got something that's making one product, such as this, I'm like a single productivity module 3 gives me productivity of plus 10%. Does that mean that for every 10 cycles I'm going to end up with 11 products, or does that mean that since it's rounding, even with four of them, it's going to end up not doing anything. I assume it would be producing a little bit more, shouldn't it? Just... But then... You know what? Let's do some science. We've got plenty of speed cards for now. Let's make some productivity modules. Let's have you work on making level 2 productivity modules. Well, after we get a nice little stock of level 1s, because you'll burn through them really fast. Um, Hey, look at that. Now, solid fuels are a uh, limiting reagent, which kind of makes sense. I mean, everything else is all sped up. Just going to have everything sped up at an equal rate. I'm surprised. Usually, um, rocket control units are my limiting reagent, not... Um, what are these? Not low density structures or solid fuel. Or rocket fuel. That's usually because my um, purple circuit processing unit production is not up to par. Which I guess I have fixed. Hmm. Alright, 
so what if I, um, let's see here, I'm making three, I've got one, that's four, five, six, I'm going to try to replace all of these with pro or, uh, efficiency module threes to reduce energy consumption, and then probably put in some high-end speed modules to increase speed, um, production crafting speed, that's the word I'm looking for. And hopefully by then I'll end up with some spare efficiency modules. I don't know if I'm going to actually end up using those. Because it seems kind of a little bit pointless if I'm not hurting for uh, raw resources, which I don't think I am. Yeah, I shouldn't be. I've got plenty of copper. Producing way more than I'm using. Same for iron. And steel. Steel, I'm actually appear to be using more than I'm producing. Interesting. But I do have a large stockpile. Okay. So I could definitely work on my steel production. Um... Not quite certain what the best way to do that would be, because it does appear that... Now, you know what? I'm just going to throw a couple more iron smelters on here. Um, might as well. Seems to be the easiest way to accomplish that which I am attempting to accomplish. Um, yo. 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 And yo, and um, yo. The placement may seem random, but there is method to my madness, and the method is that it lines up with the placement of everything else, like with how these are placed. Yeah. There's... That's not really madness. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um... It's not that hard. Anyway. We are getting close to Combat Robotics 3, yes. So soon we shall have... Uh-oh. You're gonna need lots of speed cards for uh, our new Combat Robots. Which means we may not get to make many um, productivity modules. At least not using this factory. Let's see here. Now oh, it's made some make some big speed cards. And stick them in here, I think. Hmm. Although it does have a distribution efficiency of one half, which means that if I put them in, well, I mean, if I put them in there, then all of my production would be uneven again. Just like it already is with the rocket fuel. And the rocket control units. You need to start requesting pink cards. There we go. And you might as well request 50 of them at a time. There we go. We will soon have some productivity cards. Five of them, I believe, to be exact. Um... Hopefully we will soon also have combat robotics.
You know, we do have those... Excellent. Um... Can do combat robot. Yeah, let's just do combat robot damage. Because it only uses red and green science, which lets us, um... It lets us build up a stock. Alright, yeah, we want destroyer capsules here. And we will load it with distractor capsules. Excellent. No, oh, I thought I told you to switch to blue speed cards. Alright, whatever. Um... There you are. Oh. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Oh well, we've got some destroyer capsules. Three of them. Um, I'm going to have robots constantly bring me some. Because destroyer capsules are actually quite handy for attacking biter bases. Um, kinda wanna have a little bit more than four of them though before I just go crazy and attack all the biter bases that I can find. I think that might be a good idea. Oh, wonder if there's a way to check the production or consumption of a very specific good. I don't think there is. But there is a way to stabilize it. And just be able to see that... Yep. Everything's roughly even. Except we've got extra electronic circuits, extra plastic extra... Ah, I guess we don't have much coal being produced. At least not to the extent that it's being eaten up. Um, got plenty of solid fuel. Still slightly negative on steel. Which is kinda sad. Greatly positive on red science. Greatly positive on sulfur. Um, yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> Haven't even played the game for 50 hours. But, all in all, same thing. Well, I guess batteries. Batteries make the list now. It's actually kind of interesting. You know what I just realized? Do I actually have a laser, fa uh, laser turret production factory? I do not believe I do. I'm gonna make one of those. Um, what do laser turrets require? Batteries, electronic circuits, and steel. I guess we are already slightly negative on steel. Oh well. We've got plenty of batteries at least. Um, might as well... Actually, I'm gonna work on follower robot count. Because I don't think I actually can keep all my robots following me right now or a single destroyer capsule's worth. Just gonna make the laser turret factory right here. Mostly because I'm too lazy to figure out a better place to put it. Oh, all right, that's the wrong chest. Oh well, just stick it there for now. Uh, red chest, blue chest, two fast inserters. And there we go, you request. Steel. You request green circuits and you request batteries. And in theory, we will soon have laser turrets just to replace the ones that are falling in battle. Theoretically, constantly, though we don't have many laser turrets falling in battle. Also, don't have any behemoth biters to deal with yet.
though we are producing a fair amount of pollution. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, how are we doing? Ten, ten destroyer capsules? Alright. I think that might be enough to take out a biter base. Um, and have that be our last act for this episode. Keep working on follower robot count. I am going to run down this way and actually wait. I wanted to take out that biter base, didn't I? No, I'm not scout out that lake. No promises of a huge biter base that's going to require destroyer capsules, but you know. There might be a small one that we can destroy. Just for funsies. By the way, what do you guys think? Do you want... Since I'm pretty much... Pretty late game, you know, I'm not... Trying to accomplish all sorts of cool things that require... Everyone's constant attention. Just so that you know what's going on. Do you guys want me to just kind of rant about whatever... I happen to be feeling that day, or do you want me to just try to come up with, I guess, something to do in the game? Because in many cases, like, I, I am just kind of waiting for the timer to run out. Not in the sense that I'm waiting for the game to be over, like, but to some extent, yes, I am. Like, uh... At this point, I'm not really building onto my factory very much. I'm just kind of shooting aliens, and that's literally half of what I do these episodes. And I think people don't really like my alien shooting episodes very much for some reason. Whoa! Okay, so as you can see, I can only have two destroyer capsules around me at any given time. Um, which is not great. I think I need to improve... I'm not even sure what I need to improve for that to get significantly higher. Um, but it's definitely not enough to take on that entire base. So I'm going to run home with my two destroyer capsules in tow. And I'm going to use explosive rockets a little bit just because they seem more fun. And I am going to end the episode in a little bit as soon as I get home. What research was it? Hmm. There was a research that, see, I thought it might have been these guys. Hmm. They might have changed it since this is still version 1221, so, you know, still, still old. Um, they might have changed how the robot count is calculated, because in my... Well, admittedly, 12.30 modded playthrough. Um, they, like, I can have upwards of 90 robots following me with my com advanced follower robot count 17. But, I mean, if it's only plus one for each, that should limit me to, what, 18 robots? Which it isn't. So, yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Observation. Um, yeah. So, without further ado, let's, let's check on our rocket again. 29%. Getting there, getting there. And, um, I'm gonna end the episode here. So, like, share, comment, subscribe, idea, advise. Uh, I'm actually gonna... Hey! I'm gonna work on our shotgun shell damage a little bit. And I'm also going to put these super speed cards into uh, that little effect transmitter. So now, as you can see, our crafting speed has increased to 100 plus 110%. Anyway, 
on that note, I am going to actually end the episode. So, like, share, comment, subscribe, idea, advise, um, all of the above. Tell me what you guys want more of. And check out my other Let's Play of RimWorld, which I started with the second season of, and now that Alpha 13 came out. So we've got, like, social dynamics and stuff. And I think a logical conclusion of that is now Dwarf Fortress-like-esque emo spirals are now a thing. So, um, yeah. Yeah. That promises to be interesting. The first episode has a, uh... Very thrilling introduction. Not gonna name any spoilers. But yeah. I will see you guys next time. Bye!